Hi guys, uh, this is Gaju and me again. So let's try to move on to our next unit, the next chapter. I know that I did not cover too much of editing text files. I just showed you know what is gedit and I tried to edit some files but that is not it. Okay, there is text editing is a really really big thing. Uh, a real a big part of Linux because everything in, in Linux is text based. So we have to be very very careful, right? We should not open any system files with uh, the regular editors like OpenOffice.org or uh, GEdit or something. Okay, you have binary editor. There is a difference between the binary editor and these editors. Okay, so we have to open. Uh, we have to go ahead and now and open them with uh, the other editors, the VI editor, right? Binary editor. So. Uh, I want to say open terminal okay so zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom out zoom in right so let me adjust the window to the size that we want it right so this is what we wanted anyway. So, okay. I hope uh, now we can, uh, you guys can see this. So let me go ahead and I'll end show you that. Right. So let's say you have a text file here. Let's ls. You're gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna log in as root user. Su dash password. Yes, I typed it. Who my yes I'm the root user so what I'm going to do is I want to edit a text file now so I want to navigate to the file here I'm going to say cd dot cd slash so pwd okay I'm the top directory I'm going to press ls ls under ls you have been except you know etc etc okay let's go to etc cd etc and we'll type ls there so we have a lot of files here hmm okay let's see what we have then we have yam and what is yam here okay m is so we have yp.conf here right so this is a configuration file I if I want I can open it with gedit right if I want I can open it office writer but if I save it, what happens is the computer will not be able to read it. I mean, God forbid if it's a, a Windows configuration, I mean, sorry, the Red Hat configuration file here in this, uh, or the Windows configuration file of this window here, the Nautilus window, or the terminal, then the Windows will, uh, then the Windows files will not be read by the Red Hat operating system. So it cannot open that particular window or if there are boot files, it cannot read those files and it will not boot at all. So what do we have to do? Now what do we have to do is we have to go ahead and uh, edit them with VI editor. VI is the most preferred editor even though you can use nano. But I would recommend you, insist you, request you, beg you to get used to VI, VI editor because when nothing is working, VI will work. When the, your system is not booting, you all you have is just a terminal or a black window there, not even this fancy wallpaper. You have VI, okay, to fix the issues. So please make sure you learn it. So I'm going to go ahead and on VI YP dot config. Right, I'm going to press this. So this is a file here. This is a file. So if I want up arrow, down arrow, right, I can press space and it will move. Okay, and what I can do is, if I want to type, I mean I cannot type. So what I'm, what am I doing right now? So I have, and I'm pressing the keys here, but I'm not able to type. I have to press A to insert, right? So then I can type something. Okay. But I don't want to save changes. What I'm going to do is shift. Okay, I'm going to press escape again. I'm going to press Q, quit, 
exclamation mark without changing any uh, without saving any changes so that is the way it is all right so let's go ahead and I want to take you know so that that is how we do it we're going to cover this extensively you know in future let's not worry about them right now all right so we're going to uh, cover that in future I just don't want to know repeat those things and you know make it boring make it boring so we will go through each and everything all right each and everything that is required for this paper here arch 033 so I'm gonna go ahead and now open this right now alrighty I just opened it so running commands and getting help okay how will you run command run command okay not like this for sure right so first you wanna open it right let's say you wanna open Nautilus this there you go if I close this I can get access to terminal right now I closed it so I can type Firefox and enter so it opened Firefox I can click on can close it and press on control C it's done I can so now I don't know how to you now go ahead and I want to run a command as I told you earlier I want to you know if you want some help with the command you have to press man you have to use man and then type the command that you want to know the command that I want to know in this scenario is let's say pwd manual page for pwd print the full file name of the current working directory Okay, so I'm going to press Q to exit out of it. I'm going to press info, PWD, information here, Q. I'm going to, I'm going to press um, manual page info page, which is over PWD dash dash help. Invalid option. Hmm. Okay. That means. For PWD that it's not there. The page is not there. Hmm. Where is it there? Yes. So now we have it. For LS we have a you know page, help page. Okay, not for C D. So I mean so this is how we try it. You will find in any one of these three ends uh, three pages, three help tools, you will get what you want, right? you will get the uh, uh, needed uh, information that you want. If you still want to know some of these applications on how to use them, as I said, and you know, here you have, uh, you know, click on system here, click on help, and you can say desktop usability and how to use them, basic skills, all right? So mouse skills, and you have mouse button conventions. So you have, information related to mouse pointers and mouse actions such a uh, small tiny tiny things to that so you do not have to worry about that but if you still need information all you have to do is just don't worry about any website don't worry about Red Hat forum just google it okay just google it search online and you will get it for sure without a problem google it or Bing it whatever that you want search online and you will get the answer for sure right so that will not that is not going to be a problem so the third one says running commands and getting help so running commands well, I want to I just don't want to know let you know okay these are the commands that we have to use and these are the commands that uh, we need to learn and but you will never learn unless I want to you know bring those situations you know in these particular topics and in those situations and I want I want you to learn it and I'm gonna learn with you too right so how to use built-in and online documentation to enhance your experience yes online we I mean I cannot cover that because you have to search if you have problems and inbuilt yes I did I did for sure so I think I did if I'm wrong, please let me know. All right, I will be happy to correct. So the third one is over. I'm gonna see you on the next one, fourth one. Okay.